Hi, and welcome to Have a Chat. I'm Veronique Arsenault, and I'm joined by my wonderful co-host, Julie Loger. So nice to be with you today, Veronique. Know, Gorgeous day out. It's a beautiful day, and, yes. and Audrey couldn't be here today. She's got uh, some other things going on. Yep. So you um, and I. It's just you and I. Okay. So we've had a little bit of a break. We've been off for the last couple of weeks. Yes. So, um, they, they were doing some renovations in the studio, so that was a couple weeks ago. And right. then last week, of course, the election. Exactly. So um, we did have a break for a little bit, but we're back. We're, we're so back. excited to be here with you. Yeah, and for all those people that said they missed our show when I we know. were off the air doing a repeat of the show, uh, thank you for your kind words and yes. support, always. Agreed, agreed, yeah. We uh, we love it, actually, when people tell us that they yes. watch our show. It makes us feel and good. And I've had that lately a lot, yeah. so I appreciate those viewers. Yeah, for sure. So we'll, we'll kick it off with my quote today. Sure. I, I have the quote today. Yes. Um, so it's a quote by Margaret Thatcher. Okay, great old Margaret Thatcher. Yes, great old Margaret Thatcher. Bless her. <laughs> Bless her so. <laughs> um, persistence and resilience only come from having been given the chance to work through difficult problems. So true. It is, right? Because, mm. I mean, you know, you only know how strong you are when you've actually come through something. When you've been challenged yeah. in a really tough way. Yeah. And yeah. I've never really personally been challenged in a very very tough way yeah. so i've probably yet to come to that road well but we know you're resilient i mean you you've had some um you know some trouble with your back and you've come through i that did I've, I've aced yep. it well yep. i knock on wood yep I, I pretty much say it's pretty much behind me now which is so wonderful I, it's a beautiful thing to, yeah. to be able to say that yeah so and it's funny when you're going through that's that true, Veronique. you never think that there's going to be an end right? no but i never thought of the physical aspect you're talking yeah. about i was yeah. thinking more of people that you know Struggles. work 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 or, or have a job that they're aiming for and then yeah. they they get the job and then they get fired or something or yep. they you know what I'm saying get yep. laid off so and then they have to try to find another job that's and right. they have to yep. build up that you know build themselves yeah. up again to make the next step and that's always tough that is exactly. that is tough but we've all we've all had something so like I said but I, I like yeah. what you thought about me as far yeah. as the physical goes because it's been I did injure my back years ago and it's yeah. been a long difficult road and through resilience and persistence yeah. and doing what I was told to do I have conquered that exactly for the better part and I mean really you could have just laid down and oh, yeah. let it take over and your said, life. Oh, la, la. Yeah. yeah, but no, no, I kept moving. Because most people wouldn't wouldn't have known that all these years that you've, you know, been out in the community no. doing all the work that you do that you have been struggling uh -huh, with your back pain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah. And now through yoga yeah. and through various techniques and physiotherapy and all mm -hmm. that, which was no fun to do, but I did it. Right. Um, I like your quote. I, yeah. I can attest to that. That's right, yeah. Good, thank you. So much going on in the world. <laughs> yeah, and we're so part of that home. world. I know, and right here at home. Um, so last Monday, uh -huh. was the election here in New yes. Brunswick. A very nail-biting kind of day. It was. Mm -hmm. It was. And and you know what? The the people have spoken. Yes, they have. And and they want they want different. They want change. They want change and they want different and they want um you know, our elected representatives to go to Fredericton and figure it out. And all of the party leaders have said the same thing. We've mm -hmm. gotten this message loud and clear. Yep. Yeah, all of the leaders. Yes. The people have spoken. That's right. And, and really, no one was given a clear mandate to, to, to lead, no, you know, no. um, because, of course, a, a, a clear mandate would have been a majority government. Yes. So we're in a minor, minority government situation right now. The first time in how long? Um, well, it'll be almost 198 yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. It, was a, it years. was a very unbelievable night. It was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. And I think it was, it was quite surprising to just about everybody. I think so, too. Yeah, in, in some really positive ways and in some, some struggling ways. And I'm always... Yeah, I'm always happy for people that, uh, like, like I, you know, I'm not going to get into personal things, but when you hear their take on things, yeah. like, uh, for example, David Kuhn, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, it was like, whether you like him or want yeah. him in there or not, he was so proud and he was so That's happy it. to have gotten that seat. Like, yeah. I'm always happy for people and I'm always so very sad for those yeah. who thought they were going to get in and yeah. didn't. That's just... The well, you is. know what? To put your name on a ballot, and I don't, I, you know, we, it's very easy for us at home mm -hmm. to sit and, and yep. say they should do this or they shouldn't do this or my, you know, my candidate, whatever. Yep. But you know what? Everybody that puts their name on a ballot does it because they want to do better. I say the same thing. Right? They want to do good there, things. Like, yeah. And it takes an, an incredible amount of courage uh -huh. to run for office whatever level of government exactly. whatever office it may be it's it true. takes an incredible amount of courage because it is the most public job interview possible and then you get slandered on facebook you yep. get slammed in the door when you go to their houses sometimes yep. these people we've had the hottest summer in decades I know. and they had to campaign in those days yep. where it was like 40 degrees exactly someday and go to house to house to house and a lot of the time you're not received very well no. they might be received very well in some yep. homes but just yep. the opposite in others so that's right they have to have tough skin yeah and when they lose it's a heartbreak yep uh but on the other hand some people have moved into this new this new you yep. know, thing the uh, politics that's and we're right. gonna see what's going to happen now yeah so i mean we want to definitely 
congratulate our local candidates. Yes. Um, you know that have have been elected or they're. Uh, the MLA elect. Lisa Harris, Jake Stewart, and Michelle Conroy. Yes, yeah, very exciting. And then Kevin Arsenault, just in Rogersville. Yes, and I do want to thank Bill Frazier for all yeah. the work he has done over the last 12 years for Miramichi. Um, uh, kudos to you for giving mm. 12 long, hard years <laughs> of fighting for things that were very much needed in this Miramichi area. Yep, and we're excited with what's to come and, exactly. and, and how we'll see those representatives work together. And come through for us. That's right. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I'm going to give a little background on minority governments because, of course, Good. that is everything we're seeing right now on exactly. social media and yep. in the news and everything. So, mm -hmm. um, although it's, it's the first time in a long time for us, uh, 98 years, mm -hmm. it is actually <laughs> currently working in BC. It is. Yeah. So uh, yeah. in May, July. So in May of 2017, so a little bit more than a year ago, uh, there was an election, a provincial election, and the incumbent uh, was the Liberal Party under Christy Clark. And right. so um, they did not form government. They won 43 seats. They needed 44 to form a majority. Mm -hmm. The NDP uh, had 41 seats, and then the Greens had three seats. Wow. So uh, very quickly, uh, the legislature was called back in BC. And it was it was toppled. So that the, she lost the the mm -hmm. uh, confidence vote of the legislature, and the NDP and the Greens formed a minority government. There you go. Yeah. So the 41 to um, uh, 41 seats for the NDP and three seats for the Greens, uh -huh. and so um, they have one speaker, of course, which made them still a minority government. Yes. But it has been working. Okay. Well, it has been working. Mm -hmm. So it, I mean. You know, it could topple at any day, but they have what's called the confidence and supply agreement. Yes. So the Green Party votes with the NDP mm -hmm. when it comes to confidence votes like budget or the throne speech, okay. things like that. But the others, they vote bill on bill, All so right. individually. So it can work. It can work. It can work. It can work. So whatever we happen to see in the next little while, it can work. Okay, well that's positive. All <laughs> yeah. positive tonight's the Quebec election. That's going to yes. be another hairy. It evening. is going to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They say, you know what? It's politics good. is not the same. And politics is not for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Like, no, not my thing. No. And it's not the same. It, you know, it's not the same old, same old anymore. No, I know. No. You never know what's going to happen. Um, big weekend here. Big weekend uh, here. Yes. So yeah. much going on. Uh, yesterday was the. Canadian Cancer uh, Society CIBC run for the cure. Yes. And it was the third annual Amir Mishi. I emceed the event at the Kin Center in Newcastle. It did was you? very well attended. Yeah. Yes, I did. You know why I said yes, Veronique? Because when they said, would you emcee it? I thought, you know what? I'm so busy. Um, but it's such an important cause. Mm -hmm. Like the, the, and it was particularly pertaining to breast cancer. And one in eight women in Canada right. are going to be diagnosed with breast cancer. So it's yeah. huge. And I thought, you know, there but for the grace of God, go I. I yep. could be one of those women stricken. Yep. And right now I'm healthy. Yep. So I'm thinking to myself, I've got to do that and put that as a priority over whatever and how I, or sorry, that's not how I want Housework, <laughs> housework, <laughs> well, and all and that I, stuff. Listen, we, yeah, the laundry's always going to be there. I got out and I did it yeah. and I feel good about it. Um, they raised in total with all the people either individually or businesses coming together in the Miramichi area, $22,000. Which will go to research That's and, incredible. and education and support for women going through breast cancer. That's incredible. It's and beautiful. April Richardson, who's been a great she's friend of the show, amazing. and she's been on a couple of times yes. to talk about uh, about the run. So yes. she's she's one of the uh, key organizers here in the region. Yes, after Roxanne McKnight was another one. Oh, wonderful! And okay. uh, so many people in the background to yeah. thank. You know what a wonderful turnout for that mm. run yesterday. Isn't that wonderful? It's the twenty second uh, for the actual CIBC. CIBC. Yeah. That was the third for Miramichi. That's great. So keep up the great work, ladies. Yeah. And keep uh, fundraising for a wonderful cause. Amazing. Um, and then on the weekend as well, uh, I wasn't there, but the My Pie yes. Awards Gala. Yes. I, I love the pictures. Look fantastic. Beautiful bunch of people. And what a great group of recipients. Yeah. It's the 10th annual uh, My Pie Gala. So it's Miramichi Young Entrepreneurs. Um, so and you know what? What? A little, a little history there. Yes. I, I won the first Community Champion Award. Well, that was under My Pie. Yeah. I remember being there yeah. for you, yeah. but I thought it was another organization. No, it was my pie. I won the first Community Champion Award. I, did, I forgot that it was 10 years ago. But congratulations on that, Veronique. So well deserved, and <laughs> I was years. there for you yes, to support you. Were. you. I yeah, sat I with you. Yeah. But 10 years, where did that go? Yeah, 10 so, years ago. Community Champion. This year's yeah. Community Champion happened to be Tara Drisdale. Yes, and she does so much for the she community. She does. Wonderful. She's a vibrant, happy yeah. young lady. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, we had some other winners of the awards in New Brunswick. Uh, the um, new business of the year, mm -hmm. uh, Vera Kitchen and Bar. Oh, neat. Yeah. Beautiful spot. Yes, uh, it is. On Richie Wharf. That's yeah. Sam McDonald that okay. took that award. Customer Service Award, the Urban Nest, Laura and oh, Wade Zinkor. Oh, yes, aren't they wonderful? And they get fantastic customer service. They do. Um, I was just in there actually getting a, a, mm. a gift for somebody at work. 
and they give great help. Oh, like my if Wade's in there himself, you know, he knows what to do and what to what's in for wedding gifts and all yeah. that. Where a lot of guys wouldn't have a clue. No, nope. sorry, you're right. Um, we'll ask Patty later. Yes, <laughs> yes. Entrepreneur of the year was uh, Crackle and Teal, uh, Shannon and Kelly Druitt. Oh yes, they've been really getting out yes. there. Yes, and the professional of the year was Krista Chase for RBC. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so what a great night, eh? Kudos to everybody. Yep, they and it's so it's so wonderful for them to. Uh, honor these people to to showcase them because yep. so much of this happens behind the scenes. Yes, and right? they're young entrepreneurs, and that's what yep. it's all about. Yeah. I mean, these people are establishing themselves, staying in our community, right. building a business, uh, yep. giving great things to the Miramichi people. So yeah. uh, I I couldn't be there myself, but yeah. I know that Darcy Gulliver did love the decorating. It looked oh, like yes. a fabulous night. Yeah, no, and I know, and and Tara Drizel, I know her. Uh, we we work together, so. Um, you know, the the work that she puts in behind oh, the scenes, you know, everybody sees the flashy side of Tara, yeah. but you, you, don't see, yeah, you don't see the, the behind the scenes No, stuff. she's a new yeah. Rotarian with the Chatham Rotary Club oh, as well, wonderful. so it's another new venture for her. Oh, that's exciting. She's embarked upon. Yeah, exciting. Well, that's yes. fantastic. So we have some kind of weird, like sad things that have been happening in the yeah. world too, right, Veronique? Or just yeah. some, what would you say, controversial issues? Well, and some of it's hard to understand. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we it, we'll, we'll touch on... Um, Supreme Court Justice yep. uh, Brett, Brett Kavanaugh, mm -hmm. uh, nominee. He's yep. a nominee currently, and all of that's brought <sighs> to the conversation. Yes, it's it's hard to understand. Um, you know, so he he is a nominee for the Supreme mm -hmm. Court. He's I, I believe he's about fifty years he's old. He's fifty six. Yeah, and so what's happened is uh, Doctor. Ford mm -hmm. has accused him of uh, assault yes. uh, when they were young. Yes. Let's go right to that. So they, uh, she was 15. He was apparently 17 going yeah. on 18. Yeah. So can I just say that um, I watched both his testimony mm -hmm. and I watched hers mm -hmm. where it went right into detail about them being at a, a gathering. She called it. It wasn't a party. It right. was a gathering of people. She said she was 15. She had had one beer. He and Mark Judge, the other guy, came yes. into the party, not the party, gathering, I guess, yep. a little small gathering. And uh, they were both, uh, she said, hammered. really well hammered. Yeah. Had he gone a different route and said, yeah. listen, I don't remember it. I'm really sorry that I've done this to a this woman. Thing. You know, at, at 17 yes, years old. Yes, yes. Uh, you know, I, this will this will help propel me to make better decisions and, and change the conversation. That's what I say. Um, but uh, oddly enough, that's not what he's saying. <laughs> no, he's denying it vehemently. Yeah. And, and But you know what? I, I also heard yesterday from one of the senators who's on the committee to, um, to either approve yep. or not. She said what struck her was Dr. Ford, uh, when she heard that it was uh, he was a possibility yes. before it was announced. I know. I, she, I, she went to, say, to her representative mm -hmm, in Congress and mm -hmm. say, I, you know, I just need you to know this. I don't, I don't want to press charges. I don't right. want this to be a public I, thing. I heard her say I'm that, telling yeah. you this before he is even announced so that mm -hmm. there can be whatever it is that needs to happen. Mm -hmm. So um, they decided to go ahead. They ignored that, and so she didn't. Use, she's not doing it to take him down. I you know, she's doing. Don't she's know. doing it because it was important, and and she tried to do it quietly, and that didn't work. I still say. I still say it's a lot of money flashing in front of her face, Vernie. Oh, Can I be. say it very political? Oh, I, I really think that. Uh, <laughs> and one other girl said that while he was at Yale that he did have a, a, a sexual assault type thing where he flashed and oh, uh, okay, did some yes. other right. bad stuff yes. to her. Um, going back again to him being uh, like, uh, he did the wrong thing for sure. He's hopefully made a better choice in life having be become a professional of, uh, as a lawyer, as mm -hmm. a husband, mm -hmm. as a father. Mm -hmm. um, we're going back to, to Clarence Thomas and Anita Hill, right, yep. 1991. Yep. It just smells something funny here. All okay. the Republican stuff. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Clarence Thomas was Republican. Donald Trump's Republican. Yeah. Uh, uh, Interesting. Yeah. And also that uh, Kavanaugh's wife, when George W. Bush was in, who was a Republican, she was his personal secretary the whole time. She, did, okay. she, she was with him on his campaign okay. when he was in from 2001 to 2005 in office. Yeah. Brett Kavanaugh's wife was his personal assistant. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's brought a lot of um, light to the conversation, especially in the, the era of the Me Too movement, the hashtag Me Too movement, and uh, how much that is happening and, and that those those offenders are being brought down, you know, in, in, in a lot of the entertainment industry and that. So it's, 
It's continuing the conversation for sure. But Anita Hill gave such a strong testimony back in 1991, mm -hmm. and she went into very like mm -hmm. detail, detail about what he did while they were like she was working with him yep. as, as one of his um, colleagues. Yep. And it was totally unbelievable the things that he that she said he did um, that were sexually wrong. And yet he got back in on a yeah. 52 to 48 vote yeah. by the Senate committee. So he just like a narrow, narrow margin, but he's back. He was back. Yep. Yeah. So it's disturbing all yeah. of it. To I me. agree. Um, this weekend's we we only have a couple minutes left. Oh, do we? <laughs> we do. Oh. This weekend is Thanksgiving. It is, and my 30th year anniversary I know. to my husband is I on know. October 8th. I know. Happy anniversary, honey. Hard to believe. And my sister Jennifer is getting married on October 13th, yes. which is just not this Saturday, but but the next. I know. To Matt Walker in Toronto, and we're totally thrilled for the both of them, and I can't wait to go. October is a busy month for it our is. family. Birthday, for birthday, birthday. <laughs> birthdays and anniversaries and all that kind of yes. stuff. So it's yeah, a it's, big a, it's month. a good month. It's yeah, a, we enjoy it. Um, but yeah, so uh, Thanksgiving, you know Happy what? Enjoy it. Enjoy it with your family. Eh? I know. Yeah. Eat and be grateful for those around you, um, especially family. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agreed. Family yeah, is I everything. Know. Yeah, I'm looking forward to actually doing nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do my anniversary, nothing. I don't want a gift. I just want to be with my husband and have a nice celebration. I don't blame you. Yeah, I don't need gifts. Okay, so we won't be uh, too long. Come on back and join us. We have a couple of great guests joining us, and we'll see you right after the break. Grab a coffee, have a little snuggle. Come on back and see us. Snuggle. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, it's all Hi, and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm Veronique Garson with my fantastic, wonderful, and always stunningly beautiful co-host, Judy Loge. I can laugh. I'm allowed to laugh. <laughs> nope. Ah, <laughs> nope, it's not true. Sweet, um, so we are so glad to be kicking off this segment mm. with a very dear friend of the show, Mr. Patty Quinn. It's my fifth visit. Do you get, any, uh, do you get anything you. for the... Yes, we have, a, we have a frequent visit card. I'm, and I'm taking the mug with yeah, me. Yeah. You won't believe what's going to happen in the tent visit. <laughs> Right. I look forward to it. We make you talk and you uh, get uh, not paid. Oh, perfect. Yes. yes. <laughs> so it is that time of the year. We are so pleased to have you on to talk about this. Well, now, before, oh. you, before you launch, sure. just in case there is someone out there, mm -hmm. and I don't think it's possible, but mm -hmm. somewhere, okay. somewhere in the province, if there's someone who doesn't know anything about you, just tell us a little bit. Uh, my name is uh, Patty Quinn, as the ladies have indicated. I uh, work on one of the uh, local radio stations here in town and uh, involved in a few organizations and uh, happy to be here today. And you are very involved in many things. Congrats yes. on the arm and, uh, you yes. know, wow. They're Mitchell do Champions. Amazing. You were the commentator? <laughs> yes, well, yes, yes. and you always do. That's another thing yeah. he does well. <laughs> Everything yeah. you do, you do well. That and the t walls, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. You, Patty. Yeah. yeah. So today, though, why are you here? Tell well, us all about it. <laughs> the annual visit here, ladies, and I appreciate the opportunity. It is the uh, upcoming, uh, this Friday, uh, October 5th, the uh, 6th annual uh, Food for Friends in support of the uh, Miramichi Community Food Bank. 6th six, six annual. Yeah, uh, hard to believe. Uh, it's our 6th annual, and it's one of those things, and it, it has nothing to do with us. And when I say us, I mean the gang at work. Mm -hmm. Uh, but everything to do with the community, it's just been one of those events that from day one just kind of took flight. And, and now, if this makes any sense, it's to the point where it doesn't even really feel like ours. We just, we're just merely the conduit. Coordinators there you go. The, yeah. the, the conduit, as it were. Conduit's a good word. Yes, Isn't it is. Isn't that a word? Yeah, syllables, Say no less. Say sound like a word. <laughs> So it's happening uh, this uh, Friday, uh, of course, your, your, your typical food bank drive in the sense that we're looking for non-perishable food items. Okay. Uh, a cash donation, obviously, will certainly not be uh, declined. Um, we're having a barbecue as well. So, you know, if you're working in the downtown core, mm. you got to eat at lunchtime, uh, come on in and have a bite and uh, make a donation. Or, of course, yeah. uh, so many abroad in the last handful of years, we all know someone who's uh, perhaps working out west. Uh, E-transfers have 
uh, become, become a thing, really become a popular. real thing. And already there's some emails and uh, some Facebook messages and some phone calls going, how do I e-transfer? So uh, we're ironing out a few uh, technical details with that and how we're going to do that with our bank, but that will be an option. Now, the other thing, if I may keep uh, rolling Mm -hmm. on here, I was Mm -hmm. speaking to uh, Jean Matchett uh, this morning. Jean is the uh, lady at the food bank. Mm. And uh, here's some staggering stats. And uh, listen to this here, and I'm going to read here. I apologize, I realize we're on TV. I'm used to not being being seen here. Uh, In the month of September, so here we are on the first day of October. So in the month of September, in the last 30 days, uh, in Miramichi, and again, for folks who are watching it around the province, you can scale it to fit your own uh, communities, of course. Because it, it is widespread across yeah. the province. Oh, 100%. 404 families here locally. Wow. Now, that gets broken down. Here, here's where the uh, real wrinkle is. The 404 families, ladies, translates into 754 people, 520 oh. adults, wow. 184 children. Children they define as uh, newborn to 12. Wow. And then 50 youth, which they define in that uh, 12 to 18 window before they become adults. So the 404 families, yeah. 754 50. total. And here, here's a, wow. here's a um, pause for thought here. In the month of September, 16 new clients. Aww. So whether that's, I didn't get into it, nor would Gene probably uh, you know offer the information because of the... Mm-hmm. Uh, their their own programs, but you know whether that's folks that have fallen on hard times, when maybe it's folks that have relocated to Miramichi, yes. uh, maybe it's seniors uh, who uh-huh. are you know it's 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 staggering when you think about it. Uh, they took a uh, here here's another one too. They took a week off in September. Um, and when I say week off, uh, the programs uh, the machine still rolled, but uh, the folks uh, took some time off. Seventy four people uh, knocked on their door the first day back. Wow. And the first week back, two hundred and ninety nine people. My gosh, Patty. So the key word here is food, and everybody has to have food. And nobody well, that's go, the thing, you right? know, you can't go without eating. Here's the embarrassing thing, and I, I look at look at the the. I mean, you guys know me well enough, and and, and I say this almost embarrassing. Well, not almost. It's very embarrassing for me. Uh, I don't know. I guess knock on wood uh, that I've ever been hungry in the truest sense uh, no, of, of, of the word. No, you know no, I mean? like, like really hard, like desperate for food, right. Right, I when always- you had no idea when it, where it was coming from. Right, I always knew where the next bite to eat was exactly. coming from, or I do. knew that if, if times are really tough, maybe, I, and I'm just using you as an example because I'm sitting here talking you to you. come to my house. Yeah, maybe I go knock on Judy's door, sure, and if I Judy's not some, home, I'll go to the next I door, and here's right. open, it's very sure. neat, right? So, um, it's and, not, you're never stuck. No, and uh, there are folks that unfortunately are stuck, and mm-hmm. uh, e- even to the point, and had this conversation too. Uh, again, knock on wood. Um, uh, mobility, uh, uh, maybe that's not the right term, but the ability to access the food bank is a problem for some yes, because sure. uh, they may live over here and the food yeah. bank is here or they live there, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, you know, thank goodness for Miramichi Transit and Transit in other cities uh, for folks listening in. Uh, it's helpful, it's affordable, mm-hmm. but. Uh, just to get there. Yeah, just yeah. just to get there. The day the daily struggles, as it were, just to get a bite to eat and keep the kids uh, with a, a lunch. And, and as I say, kids at lunch. Uh, and you've had these folks on, and we're very familiar with the programs. You know, thank goodness for the various schools, if not all schools, who have the the lunch programs, the well, breakfast programs. The breakfast, bonus. yeah, and the breakfast, breakfast program, of course, paid for by the um, Big Brothers Big Sisters, <laughs> yes. right? Mm-hmm. Like how that is. That it's is a game so changer. incredible. Right? I think, I think they changer. pay. I think I think the last stat I heard was they pay for something like four thousand breakfasts, Amazing. right? Kids a month. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. You know. Crazy. Which is for a lot, their only hot meal, right? Right. right. Exactly. Absolutely. Right. Or their only meal of the day. So it's quite it's quite astounding as we see because we 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 just assume in our community and I know in our province. We know our neighbors, so nobody's really starving. No. Nobody's right. really right. having a hard time. Right. But in actual fact, there are 404 families. Or worse, and I'll use myself as an example, uh, friends with both of you, uh, just off, off the air here, as we say, um, pride's an awful thing. I'm not so sure that I would knock on your door no, unless right. I really <laughs> bottomed out. Do you know no, what I mean? I do know because that. you don't know who wants to be. For sure. Pride's an awful thing. It, it, but, it no, it's a, but it's a fact of but life. You're right. People yeah. have pride and they just wouldn't want to do that or they right. would go hungry before they'd knock on the door. That's right. A yeah. lot of the time. Fact of the matter is Jean and her crew, and there's many of them, uh, if I started naming names, I'd forget someone, so I won't do it. No. Uh, there's a whole cast of volunteers. They're there. Yeah. Uh, they have some hours posted. They're active on the various social media outlets. If you need them, for goodness sakes, don't be shy. Uh, reach out, give them a call, or um, 
mm -hmm. get there somehow, some way. And I provided some. Do you want me some... to run through some of these? Yeah. Um, you go ahead. Veronique, and I'll split them sure. up here. Sure. I'll, I'll go through the first half of the shopping list that would be very helpful if you could bring these things in on the 5th uh, of October. Baby food and accessories, cereal and oatmeal, canned fish and meat, ham and chicken and turkey, uh, beans and molasses, chunky and cream soups, dried pasta and tomato sauce, canned fruits and vegetables, canned beans, tomatoes, and sauces. Peanut butter and jams, can and powdered milk, uh, fruit and vegetable juices, soda biscuits, potatoes, jello, tea, detergents and soaps, sugar, spices, and personal hygiene products. So I just want to highlight actually, because I've, I've had the question often, pe mm. people have asked me often, well, why detergents and soap and why personal hygiene products? Number one, number so, one question we've been getting at yeah. work is why. So the reason is, is that um, people have a limited budget, right? right? And if they don't have to pay for the detergent and soap, their toothbrush, their toothpaste, right. whatever, right. then that money can go towards fresh fruits and vegetables, right. other food, right. like, right. you know, other necessities. You know, yes. Two things. You're 100% correct, Veronique. It does relieve the financial pressures. Mm -hmm. Secondly, as we go down the list that both of you just uh, read through, um, and, and you mentioned a, a really good uh, idea there too with fresh foods. This okay. here is uh, what they like on their shelves uh, because they're, by and large their clients uh, get a, I don't know if order is the right word, but fulfill their order yes. um, as a means to when the next income is coming in. Do you know yes, what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, they, and now, and Veronique, I'm going to one up you here on the fresh for less there is another program they administer with another organization here in town once a month mm -hmm. yeah if they if these 404 people are so inclined and have signed up for it they do have access to fresh veggies fresh fresh yeah, fruit right. by time and seasonal of mm -hmm. course yeah. around here so yeah you yes. can get a ten dollar bag or a twenty dollar bag there you go you know more than i do yeah. 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 Right. i was making quick notes this morning yeah oh you had a lady okay perfect, yeah. perfect. Also, yeah. recently no right. but yeah you can get a, t a ten dollar bag or a twenty dollar bag right and they're able to do that because they they buy in bulk right the, the vegetables I gotcha. and so they can offer and it's quite a large bag. Yes. Like it'll do you mm -hmm. for a bit. And if you make mm -hmm. a stew with that, you have the Correct. stew the next yeah. day or the next right. day. It'll last right. you. It'll yeah, and you can over freeze that meals. kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. What uh, accessories are they talking about? Like pacifiers and diapers? Well, again, uh, Judy, much like Veronique said, anything diapers. that, and, and you, you had a pair of your, your own children, all, all that stuff that you would otherwise put the money out for. I know. That would relieve, as Veronique had said, the, the pressures of having to buy them. So there could be more for yeah, groceries. Like, and I mean, diapers are huge. Sure. Like, the cost Massive of that. Cost. So, so I mean, all obviously all the babies need food, all but all they all certainly need to be diapers. So all the creams. And yeah. You, you, you know how baby it goes. Soaks and all of that. So right. just keep that in mind when you're giving folks that it's just not baby food. No. And, and here's one uh, to tug on your heartstrings and break your heart, as a matter of fact. And you know what? And, and I, I say that as an outsider looking in. Mm -hmm. um, there's a little children, and I can say this because I've been there, because on the day of, we deliver the night yes. of, the night of the day. Okay. Does that make any sense? October 5th? Thank you. Yes, we, we all, all the collected food gets delivered to the food bank. Right. But they had this shelf. Hmm. Um, I may get emotional here. Um, for kids. Yes. Right. And there's just little treats. Yeah. Chocolate sure. bar, bag of chips, whatever yeah. it is. Right. Things that kids and, like. And, 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 and outwardly you kind of go, oh, wow, look, <coughs> there's Mars bars. And then, uh, then, then you realize you're the... Your sensible side of your brain kicks in and goes, you know what? It's maybe the old time little Veronique or little Judy or little Batty are getting a little I treat. Know. You know I what know. I mean? And, the very odd time. and then you kind of go, oh, you know? Yeah. When you and I trot down to the grocery store or whatever store. To the point of excess. Yeah. It's, it's embarrassing. Uh, yeah. my, my partner there in the morning starts, and I can't tell you the number of times we skip across the street either way. We have stores uh, mm -hmm. north and south of us there, and yeah. it's crazy. We do well, it because you... we can, and. When you have food security, you don't think about it. Food security, yeah, absolutely, uh, right? 100%, agreed, yeah. agreed. And there's so many, as you mentioned, food security, like Chad, the place, it's a big uh, yeah, thing in his world. So much going on here. Yeah. And, and this is this is the one that just kind of ties it together in the sense that it gets folks through until there's yeah. more security or the, the next load of fresh uh, stuff is coming in. So, so okay, you go ahead. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say it's your sixth year, so it must be just really out there now how much of a need there is. It's been growing and growing on Facebook and, and the word you give on the 95.9 well, and word of mouth in the community. Hopefully it's just accumulating double fold, is it? Three well, fold? Yeah, and following along that trajectory, and you know what? I, I, if the current state of the educators in our community and their classrooms and their and, and their student bodies are any indication, mm -hmm. we're going to be in good hands moving yeah. forward because it's unbelievable what these schools have done. Max Aiken comes to mm -hmm. mind. They called last year and said, Henderson, Jamie, excuse me, I'm using last name. Yes. That's what we do here in Mary Machine. <laughs> Jamie, principal Jamie Henderson yes. called and said, Quinn, get up here. Uh, I got a, a few items for you. And I was like, all right, nice. off I go. And I, I, I get into the gym and I was like, holy cow. Good. It, it was a big load. Massive. So now 
now the game is afoot. Now they're trying to, what are we now, 2018? Mm -hmm. So they're trying to do more than 2017. The NBCC students have come on board. Wicked. Naramashi Timberwolves, Chatham Senior Ironman. It's, oh, again, wow. like I said on the outset, it just seems as though, uh, you know what, if anything, we've, we've raised the awareness that there is a need in our community. Mm -hmm. Like both of you have said, there are people that use it. There's the proof in the pudding right there. Definitely. And there's people we know. Yeah. Right? So how so do we it, get our stuff to you? We're there all day um, from sunup till sundown roughly five or six ish and then we're gonna pile her into the vehicle so please stop by uh we're on the action corner here on the corner of pleasant and jane um you'll need do you you're gonna ask me the help? civic address i think it's 202 Street. <laughs> you need but if you're help? in chatter who doesn't know where i mean like um, as as loading picking up and putting in uh, boxing and getting it boys, all ready judy to go. you know what uh, thinking very selfishly of us who will be on our feet all day the kinsmen are coming over for okay. the barbecue but you know what if you happen to be skipping by the corner there around to summertime help. commuting home sure come on way down we're certainly not going to turn away a set of hands uh, loading some boxes and even delivering them for you maybe to the food well there we absolutely we uh, through the kindness of neighbors we we board a big cube van okay. from uh, the, uh, a business up the street so, so the van. we and have a truck from Lounsbury Automotive as oh, well okay, and okay. if I don't want to go shopping but I want to help out I can give you money you can drop by with a cash donation e-transfer um, barbecue um, I would suspect uh, as we get the word out and you mentioned it social media uh, you know uh, you know we all have friends and family yes. that are living abroad they'll see the action for sure and you know flip you a quick 20 or mm -hmm. what, whatever you it can spare all meant, means a lot absolutely so how far would all this carry over the load that you get each year? Like how far into the season, winter, whatever would it take you oh. with that amount of people needing it? You know, it's it, that's a great question. I don't know that I have a good answer other than to say, Judy, that, uh, you know, we always go over for a quick, I'll use the term huddle with Jean and her yes. crew leading into it. And you look and go, oh, my goodness, the, the shelves are bare. Now, oh. uh, that's not all to be doom and gloom. Here's the fact of the matter. We had a change over in the month. It's always the first Friday in October. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, September, it's been well picked over. Right. They're reloading for October. We're yep. heading into, uh, and you mentioned your first uh, outset of the program this afternoon, and we're heading into Thanksgiving. Yes. Um, so, you know, folks are looking for a treat and loading up for that as well. It's going to be good for October, probably into November with all this. Uh, yeah. And I would say... October, November into December, then of course we get into the Christmas, Christmas rush. Exactly right. But and the, the Christmas the, hampers. The point being here, and, and you know what, and, and perhaps over time before we got as involved as we did here at work um, with it, um, you know, when you think food bank, I think by and large, you think of the, the big two, Thanksgiving and Christmas and time. Christmas. But it's, there it is every right day. there. It's, it's every oh, day. Yeah. And it's every month. And there's 16 new members, or excuse yeah. me, clients. Just in September. Members is not the right word. I apologize. Yeah. 16 new clients. Yeah. Right. Like, it, it's not Thanksgiving. It's not Christmas. No, it's, it's every day. It's every day. Yeah. And these, these are kids your kids are going to school with. These are folks that we're that working we alongside with. Absolutely. That we see that we walk by and don't even know that their no. bellies are, are needing food. That's right. Don't even know. So in our um, last um, last little bit of time before we go to break, yeah. we want to make sure that everyone knows out there that they can donate any time from the time you open that morning until until sundown. Well, and here's the other thing, too. The, the inevitable thing is, uh, Veronique, as folks are getting their own errands done and, and groceries shopped and uh, coordinating with their own paydays and check days, uh, we are open every day, so don't be shy. Our, right. our, our little foyer entranceway, we'll call it what you want, is full right now. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not full, but it's starting to get full. Yes. Uh, and when you walk in, just to your immediate, <laughs> just to your immediate left, you'll notice a bunch of uh, boxes from the NBLC store. Don't worry, yes. we, yeah. we haven't fallen off the wagon or anything. We just, yeah. through the kindness of neighbors, right. uh, they, they've loaned us their boxes. Uh, and that's the other thing too. If you if you can leave a bag, right, uh, with your stuff that you're bringing in, that that's appreciated too. It is. Yep. Yeah. This is all good. This list again, like please help give to yeah. the food bank. And, and this is all over our website. I know the camera's a long ways away. Mm -hmm. This is all over our website. We'll it's all over our social our media. Yeah. Like, you do that and you guys hang on to that yeah. and you're we'll getting get your it own. We're shared on our Facebook Doing page. Doing a great job to get all this together well, for we a are, wonderful cause. And we appreciate the opportunity to be yes. here today. Thank you very much. It'll be a success. Um, your Facebook page, Patty, just so everybody knows. It's Facebook.com slash 959SunFM. Twitter and Instagram as well. Website is 959SunFM.com. And mm. Get that the, down, Pat, don't you? On the air every day. Yeah, <laughs> said that once or twice. <laughs> yeah. Just like a just like parent now. Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Well, we want to thank you so much, Patty, for well, uh, for coming out today and for you. sharing with uh, with everybody. And, uh, and to be clear, the mug is on your fifth visit. The mug, I can yes, take the yes, mug? Totally. Okay, good. So um, thank you, every, and we want to make sure that everybody heads out to 959 uh, on Friday to make sure that you're uh, whether it's you know throw a couple of dollars their way or some food um, you know we're all doing groceries at some point this all week needed. let's pick up a mm -hmm. little bit extra and help out our friends that we don't even know need our help at this point um, so yeah thanks so much Patty yeah yes. thank you ladies all right we'll see you right after the break don't go too far
Hi, and welcome back to Have a Chat. I'm Veronique Arsenault, and I'm, of course, joined by my wonderful, fabulous, incredibly, outstandingly wonderful co host. I Judy pay Arsha. her after the show. <laughs> <laughs> it comes in increments. Yes, yes. Small I, amounts. I think I get about a quarter every year. Five, five, five years <laughs> together. Very yes, good. Anyway, anyway. Um, welcome back. We had a, a great uh, first segment on the show with Patty mm-hmm. Quinn and Food for Friends. So uh, thank you, Patty, for coming to hang out with us. Always and does a great he job. Al- already has stolen the mug. Uh, I'm yeah. not sure if we're going to report it to the police, yeah. but we'll let you know. Um, yeah. But now in this segment, we're joined by uh, Kelly Adair Gooden and Jane Murphy. So welcome, ladies. Thank you thank very you. much. We're yes, so glad to have us. you. We've had Kelly once. Kelly has been here before. We've been on air, and we've not had Jane on before. No, no I know. No, Jane's a newbie. Yes, I know. <laughs> We're very glad to have you. So uh, welcome to the show. And um, so for those out there who don't know you, please, both of you, tell us a little bit about yourselves, and, and then uh, we'll delve right into why you're here. Well, um, I'm Kelly Godden. I've lived here most of my life. Moved away for a little bit and came back. You can't get the river out of the girl. That's right. And uh, I've worked at the Mount for 25 years as an LPN. And recently joined the New Brunswick Council of Nursing Home Unions as their recording secretary and oh. local 1256 well, recording yeah. secretary. So keep them busy. Very well, yes. busy, yeah. to the least. I'm Jane Murphy, born and raised on the river. Yeah. Still live here. Nice. Um, been at the Miramichi Senior Citizens Home for 15 years. Oh, wow. I'm vice president of our local 1277. And. Uh, I'm on this committee. Okay, mm-hmm. which we have to talk about the committee and what it all involves. Just to kind of go into mm-hmm. detail as to what yes. it's all about. Okay, so we're with uh, New Brunswick uh, Council of Nursing Home Unions, mm-hmm. and which is a sector of QP New Brunswick. Our nursing homes, there's 46 in the province that are under NBC, NHU. And what does that mean under N- NBC, NHU? It's the sector that okay. we're in, it's the nursing home sector. Okay. Um, our committee, we were formed by the executive. They have chosen four. Mm-hmm. And uh, so there's um, Nicole Munn, okay. who is from St. Stephen's. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, she's with Local 3392. Mm-hmm. There's Jeff Fugay. He's from Moncton, Local 1726. Mm-hmm. And Kelly Godden, 1256, yes. and myself. Four okay. of you. So That's there's four yeah, of us. On the committee. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I can't even yeah. remember my own name, but you remember the <laughs> union. <laughs> as well. I mean, yeah. You notice I gave her the numbers. <laughs> yeah. Small, powerful <laughs> committee. <laughs> small, powerful committee, though. Yeah. So the reason why they got the committee going is that workload is a very serious issue mm-hmm. in the nursing homes right now. Mm-hmm. So with recruitment and retention, they felt the need and the hours of care. So basically, that's what we're looking for is hours of care for our seniors. Okay. okay. So um, how long is, has the organization been formed? Like, when did you form the, the committee? Yeah, the committee. It's been almost two years, oh, okay. but it, it built. So this has been a very active year, year and a half, I guess we'll say. Mm-hmm. So the first was just setting up our mandate and such. And now this year, we went into full full gear. So we had uh, a budget and we went across the province this summer educating the public on the need for increased hours of care. Mm -hmm. So it was great. We had little things like car magnets, Mm -hmm. uh, pins and pens and pamphlets. Jane created a book called The Real Faces of Our Workplace. Uh You did that book by yourself. She is amazing. Thank you. So with the nursing homes, the shift has been um, building. But now it's amazing the changes. Our residents used to drive to the nursing home. It was like a retirement place. You know, mm-hmm. I'm going to move into the nursing home. Yeah. Still independent. Now they're coming in. Maybe they've been in hospital six months, maybe a year, or at home. Or more. They're, exactly. Mm-hmm. They're 99, being brought in by ambulance. Uh, the acuity, the, it's just unbelievable. It's off the charts, the change. We have... Uh, very high increase in um, mental health issues. Of course. So the violence, Mm -hmm. the violence we're dealing with. We've had a recent reduction in antipsychotic meds for the patients. We've had a reduction in restraints, exactly. Mm. Um, We're not supposed to have any restraints any longer. Mm. So with all these changes, and then as Jane said, recruitment and retention is a huge issue. We work short every day. So when you bring in a resident 
who needs maybe two people, but you're working short. This violence this against the staff mm -hmm. and the injuries that are happening. So we started our committee, wow. started um, getting forms filled out by the members. If you had an injury, were you working short? What happened? Did you have equipment, proper equipment? Is it functioning equipment? Mm -hmm. All the different things. And we're talking every part of the nursing home. It's a team. So your housekeepers are working yes. short. The square footages have increased. Kitchen the staff. dietary, mm -hmm. unbelievable what mm -hmm. they're under. Mm -hmm. We've started different things uh, in homes called satellite kitchens. It's put, there's so much stress on the staff right now trying to get the work done. We wow. need more hours in so every what, sector. Wow. What would that translate to? So right now, um, I think you're saying 3.1 hours is not enough? No. Right. So what would, what would that look like then? So 3.1 hours actually includes in that your rehab and your ward clerk. So direct hands-on care, and I'm not saying rehab is not direct, but I'm talking your nursing care, mm -hmm. is actually 2.89. Whoa. So there was a study done by social development, and it tried a few homes with 3.5, and it showed a better way of life for mm -hmm. the residents, more productive way of life. We want to go back to being able to care for the residents. Of course, and not they want to be cared for properly. Exactly, and not nice. assembly mm -hmm. line care. We don't no. want to come in. So your 2.89, getting back to that, when you break that down, that would equal six minutes for AM care in the morning. That's from Nothing. the time I walk in your room, wake you, mm -hmm. till I get you to the dining room table. So in there, there's your bath. There's I would like to come up and gently wake you. I know. So if I have Alzheimer's and you suddenly come in and approach me and pull the blankets back and say, Miss Jones, you have to get up now, yes. you're going to have a black eye. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. So it's, it should be a gradual, how you would want to be treated, sure. how you would want your parents to be treated. Gently. And that's how and we tell our staff, and we have fabulous staff in both yes, homes. Yes, you do. And we're so fortunate. But we have to look after them as well, because who's looking after the caregivers? Mm -hmm. But... Our main focus has been get more hours of care. As you've seen, one party put it in their platform, mm -hmm. but it was for 2026. Oh, so we have asked, oh. we need immediate. immediate. Mm -hmm. We can't wait for that. The crisis it's not a is huge, now. It's not a huge jump. I mean, in all honesty. It's a huge jump. It does cost. Is it? Okay. Each it doesn't, point, I guess it doesn't seem I know like it. it doesn't, but each point does cost. Okay. And we understand that. So it would be gradual. Um, they feel the recruitment retention. You have to solve one first. Oh, okay. So we could give you those hours. However, you don't have the staff. It's a chicken and an egg. <laughs> it's true. So the staff, when the mm. LPNs are graduating and the RAs, they go to the hospital yeah. immediately. Yeah. That's where they want to be yeah. because they come to our facilities, mm -hmm. and we have 46 in the province under CUPE, mm -hmm. and they go, oh, we're not staying, this is hard work, and Jeez. this is, you know, you're working short, and you punched and kicked by 36, Terrible. maybe, so we're saying if we had increased hours, mm -hmm. more staff on hand, we could get back the true caregivers to the system, which is what we want, we want the people who love our residents. And we do. They I become do. our family. Yes, of course. course. And yeah. it's her passion. Well, if that was my mom and dad in there, exactly. like I'm putting myself in that position, uh, right. I would want them treated so specially by yep. you people who are special. And like you said, by the time you get somebody uh, like gently woken up, which yes. you want to do, and then there's the bath and yep. the shower, then some people are very hard to maneuver either exactly. weight-wise weight so or disability-wise. Disability. Disability. They, they can't move on their That's own, right. so you have to lift them. And there's another injury that could be exactly. happen. There's so much you're up against. There is, and the thing we have to always remember is that if you're going into these homes and you have that passion, you have to think on the drive home when you're thinking about your day and mm -hmm. you're reviewing how it went, the caregiver is saying, I didn't get back to Mrs. Jones. Oh. I saw her sitting quiet because, of course, you had no time. the quiet no, you people, you're, you're yeah. running to yep. keep up with maybe mm. someone who's more vocal, yep. while the quiet Mrs. Jones sat in her room and cried. Mm -hmm. And you saw that in passing, and you thought, I'm going to go back, and you never got back. So Plays that on, on the drive the home, the it does. Because we're it does. 
true caregivers. Which, which so would then, lead to caregiver fatigue. Yes, and yeah. that's where we're at. So your sick time is high. So when we're driving in the next morning, we're like, okay, today, mm -hmm. you're mapping out. So all that stress, oh. you start mapping out at five o'clock saying, today I'm going to get to Mrs. Jones first and maybe then I could squeeze this in. And, right. Shouldn't and be that's like that. Not, no, no, that's, that's not, not the care how that it's you meant want. to be. No. And this book, Jane, must have been very emotional to put together, Yes. obviously. Sure. Uh, so it's the real faces of our workplace and as Veronique was holding up again, like all the injuries sustained um, and like you don't know what on any given day if you're going to get a, a punch in the face or a kick to the chin right. or a bruise or, yeah. or a cut and uh, like you said, how do you want to re recruit these people and they know what that yeah. could happen to them? Yep. This is a very, uh, very disturbing kind of scenic book, but mm -hmm. it's very what you need to get the point across. Exactly. And you did a great job with that. So what's, um, how, can, how can regular citizens help you? What, you know, and bringing the awareness, what, what, what do you hope to... We need the discussions, to have. Okay. We want the conversation started. And that's why now when people see us mm -hmm. in these t-shirts, they see the car magnets, they've seen the flyers, we have petitions, we have everything. Just start the conversation so that the pressure is there and people realize, Concerned. no, this isn't, everything isn't fine. Mm -hmm. No, it's we not. have to look after our seniors, same as we look after our children mm -hmm. and fought for daycare. And now we have to remember these seniors that we've placed in care that truly are the frailest. And I they know. just, we just want to give them what they so deserve. Mm -hmm. Which know? every person does. Exactly. The respect and dignity and the one on one time exactly. that they need. They need the one on one. Not just yeah. wake them up and put them in the bathroom exactly. and rush them down and then sit there all day because you're trying to deal with an abusive situation. And mm -hmm. see, Jane has that as a family I have member. My mom. You do. So, okay. right from the heart, you know exactly what it's like to have. And mm -hmm. we had uh, my mother in law and Bernie's grandmother in the yes. room as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you just know that the staff wants to dote on that person because they become very special to yes. them. Yes, and they do. And they do. Like I said, they're like family. Yeah. And then, to, like you said, to leave off and know that they're just sitting there as you left them mm -hmm. uh, to mm -hmm. rush off to the next Breaks your heart. episode that might be taking place with a patient is uh, you feel like you're cutting yourself short and them short. So it'd be more crisis management versus care management, right? Yes. You know, that's yes, what you're, because that's you're what constantly, you're doing. Yeah, you're constantly in that mode. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, wow. Yeah, so it's, it, I, do you have, is there contact information that there are There is on the flyers we've sent out mm -hmm. and we also have on our website, you can go on the NBC NHU okay. and there's a tab for workload mm -hmm. and everything is there. Okay. These flyers, I don't think I received one. No, so. a pamphlet. So we've attended um, every market and fair. We've gone right across wow. the province wow. and uh, set up a tent at every festival and handed these out and collected signatures to mm -hmm. ask for the increase immediate. For two years you've been doing this, working on this? A year and a half, yes. A year and a half. Yeah, so this summer was the tour and the four committee members, we have the best committee. What a small committee though. It like is. That is it a is. very mm -hmm. small committee and doing that kind of work. We just had three and Jack Jeez. came in this summer and he's been a great addition mm -hmm. and Nicole has two small boys and the boys come to everything. Aww. Just unbelievable family support. Wonderful? Her husband gets involved because he's also a CUPE member. Working in a nursing home, they actually work together. Oh, wow. The thing is, you're doing all of this plus you're working. Yes. Like, yes, we've continued. Like you're employed this whole yes. time that you're out there trying yep. to get all this across mm -hmm. to people and get the help that you need. Yep. No, we're very lucky though. NBC and HU has supported us fully, so we do get our time off to travel. Yes. And uh, Jane and I teamed up and Jack and Nicole. Mm -hmm. So it's always two together yes. at any event. And uh, it's been exciting. It's oh, been great. I love the conversations. It's so stimulating to mm -hmm. educate people. And it's not too often that you don't run into someone who said, you had my mother, yeah. you had my grandmother. <laughs> that's exactly And it's great <laughs> when the local members come out to our events because that's the people they're familiar with seeing. Mm -hmm. So then it puts a personal. Mm -hmm. Like we went to Camelton. And Jane and I sat there and it was fine. We were handing out the pamphlets. But when the locals showed up and they took over That's the booth, yeah. it was immediate. It was like, oh, hello, Mark. Yeah. Right. You know, that what connection. are you doing? Yeah. It is. Because it's an intimate connection. Mm -hmm. I've maybe been with you when you brought your mom in or your dad and held your hand through that <coughs> and the guilt. Mm -hmm. Because it's not just the physical work. It's the emotional of support course. that we provide. Mm -hmm. And then... At as the a end, a daughter to a mother, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then at the end of life, I might be holding your hand right. as you say goodbye. That's right. Yeah. And 
and it happened. And the emotion. Oh, it's terrible. Yeah. I'm trying not to think of that because I remember <laughs> I it vividly, even though it's been uh, nine years since Grandma passed, but I remember it yep. vividly. And and how wonderful the staff was at the Marriage oh, Senior Oh, my heavens. Second yeah. to nine, And really. we do. Yeah. We have, and each home does. Yeah. I'm so proud of that because our members are amazing. They yeah. are. And we've yeah. all witnessed that. You know? Yeah. And we just went through one um, last night. So it was like... The families get it. Yeah. They get the need because at first family will say, oh, it's not that busy. And then as they stay through palliative yeah. and realize that, oh, all night, nobody oh sleeps. No, really? That's right. I yeah. didn't know that. I thought they were like babies and you tucked them in. And I went, I didn't no. have a baby like that. No. I have an aunt at Mount St. Joseph. And, you know, like I said, she has a form of dementia. And all I'm thinking is when I can't be there or I, I haven't been there to see her because yeah. of my schedule, which guilts on me, that you're the ones that are looking yeah. after her that's and right. loving her. Day after day. And giving her what we would do if we could physically yes. be there as much. Yeah. That's yes. right, yeah. So well, we really want to thank you for starting that conversation. Yes. And for, awesome. Yeah, and for sharing yeah. with us. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely, we want to make sure that, you know, that that awareness continues. Support. Um, and, yes, and that, please. you know, the government that's been elected, because we have, we have all four parties now mm -hmm. in, uh, in Fredericton, mm -hmm. that they continue to have that discussion. Yes. Uh, and so we that will we can, ensure they will. Well, right. which is one, which is yes. wonderful. So we really appreciate what you've done and what you continue yes, to do. Don't give up because keep oh, pushing, no. pushing. Oh no, that's our focus. Yep. And we will reach it. Well, we're time. all out of time for today. So thank you, ladies. Thank you thank to both you Jane so and much. Kelly for yes. being here. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. And we'll see you yeah, um, not wonderful. next week. Next week is Thanksgiving, so we'll see you the week after. But we thank you so much for for yes. hanging out with us every Monday, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Have a great weekend.